I built the road to your house. Come and show Rivers people any project you did while in office. We will celebrate because we have done well. Governor Wiki to his predecessor, Rotimi Amiji. This is part of our discussion today. Stay with me on this. Let's start with this video. Watch and tell me in the comment section if your presidential candidate is good to go or not. Now watch. If you are 20 to 30 years old, please find a good boss. Not, not necessarily a good company. Learn from the boss. Learn how to do it. When you are 30 to 40 years old, try to do something yourself if you really want to try. When you are 40 to 50 years old, do things that you are good at. After 20 years of learning, you should do something you're good at. When you are 50 to 60 years old, spend a time supporting young people. When you are six, over 60 years old, spend time with your grandchildren. You just listened to the richest man in China, Jack Ma. Okay, so how old is Atiku Abubakar? 76. How old is Bola Ahmed Tinubu? 70. How old is Peter Obi? 61. How old is Rabio Kwankwaso? 65. If your candidate is way above 60 years old, I guess you know what to do by now. Thank you. There is a statement created to the former governor of River State, Rotimi Amechi, where he told Governor Winke, his successor, to stop being noisy with his projects, and that himself did projects and never made noise like the way he does. Winke has now replied Amechi. Watch. I hear a few days ago, the former governor of River State said, that he did a lot of roads and flyovers in Port Harcourt. He did not make noise. What is all about the noise? I didn't see the flyovers he did. If he did the roads, mention the roads. Did he do this? From a back corner, say, Elibolo, new layout. Did he do it? Oh. But let me even tell you why we should celebrate. In May 27, 2015, at Obiwale International Conference Center. When he was having his birthday, he said, our government will not have money to pay salaries, not to talk about doing a project. So today, by the grace of God, we are not only paying salaries, we are not only paying pensioners, we are not only paying gratuities that he did not pay, we have gone beyond to carry out projects which he failed to carry out. And so we should celebrate it. Let him know that nobody is God. You looted the state so that we will not pay salary so we have problems. You looted the state so that we cannot do projects. But God is infinite mercy. Say, look, your way is not my way. I'm the one that is in charge. I brought this government, and this government must have money to pay salaries and carry out developmental uh, projects. So why should, we not, not, why should we not make noise? Why should you not celebrate? When you sold our gas turbine, 308 million US dollars, converted today at even 500, how much will it be? What can you show for the money? Certainly not. You promised your Ghanaian people that you are going to do Saibuwa to Bori. You did not do it. To the glory of God today, we have done it for Saibuwa to Kono. Do a nice with street land, not less than 25 kilometers. Why would we not celebrate? You promised the Calabari people that you are going to do Trans Calabari Road. Did you do it? By the grace of God, this December, we are going to commission the first phase of trans Calabari Road. Eight years in your office, you say you are going to complete Anthony 
Popo Poyinti Road. Did you do it? You're not aware with the money. But the grace of God today, we have completed the Popo section and we are still working at the Andoni section. Why would we not celebrate? We have done from Chokocho to Ibodo, the boundary between Imo State and River State. It is to do it. What did you do in Ahuda? Nothing. Nothing. What did you do in Nomok? Certainly nothing. I have gone to your local government to do all the internal roads in Isobo, which you refuse. And today, doing Igrit and Tara Roads, which is in your local government. And today, doing Omagwa and Tara Roads, which is in your local government. Today, we have almost completed Anu Omagwa Road, which is in your local government. I've given you a school in your community. Even the house you are living, I did the road to your house. Wiki had to remind Amici the comment he made on his birthday in 2015 as the governor of River State. Wike said Amechi lamented that their government did not have enough money to pay salaries, talk more of embarking on projects. Wike accused Amechi of looting the state to dryness so himself, Wike, won't see anything to work with for the people of River State. Wike also accused Amechi of selling off the gas turbine belonging to the state for the whopping sum of $308 million and pocketed the money. Let's even go by 500 Naira exchange rates. That's about 1.54 billion naira. Where is the money? Nobody knows. Wike said Amechi even abandoned the roads in his own local government as governor of the state. To finally shut Amechi up, Wike said he built the road leading to Amechi's house. We await Rotimi Amechi to clarify the allegations Wike has leveled against him since he was the one that started the fight in the first place. But there is something common between Wike and Amechi. What is that one thing? Let's find out. Watch. <laughs> entertainers you can never get bored with any of them they play entertaining politics let's not even take it away from them now the presidential candidate of the all progressive congress Bola Ahmed Tinubu recently took his campaign to Lagos State a state believed to be his strong base how was his coming announced check out this video watch the ancient town crier did his job going around Lagos and warning everyone to close down their shops and go campaign for Tinubu. Was that even necessary? Are people supposed to close down their shops forcefully to identify with a presidential candidate? Is that not an infringement on their fundamental human rights? This is not right. Let's even tell ourselves the truth. Again, check out how Tinubu made his presence known to Lagosians. Watch. Well, the waste cut to be here. This one that shot, that shot down. Make it sit down.
This guy can't. This guy block us. That was triumphant entry. The Jagaban is here. I hope he wins Lagos come 2023. Finally, keep following up with the campaigns. Nigeria must get it right this time. Get your PVC ready. We will speak at the polls. That is the only opportunity we have to salvage this country come 2023. I'll see you tomorrow. Please subscribe to this news channel. Let me be your news blog and I'll keep you updated.